The man you see right here was sentenced to 384,912 years in prison. And you will never guess what his actual crime was. Because Night Farm, you are about to hear the most unbelievable punishments for small crimes. For starters, what would you do if you were accused of manslaughter because of something you couldn't control? That's what happened to Enzo Boschi, one of many Italian scientists who concluded that a large earthquake was unlikely to happen in a certain Italian town back in 2009. Sadly, six days after the failed prediction, a massive earthquake did strike the town and killed more than 300 people. The government the government was allegedly looking for someone to blame for the disaster. So later on, these scientists were convicted of involuntary manslaughter and sentenced to six years in prison. Wow, just imagine being sentenced for something you failed to say. But for the next person, it is the opposite. He said too much. Raif Badawi was punished by the Saudi Arabian government with a 10-year sentence. He was even set to receive 1,000 lashes. Wanna guess what he did? He blogged. He created a blog that talked about human rights, women's rights and secularism. And the Saudi Arabian government ruled it was insulting Islam. Since 2012, Raif had been serving his time in jail. But after he received his first 50 lashes, the international community spoke against it. The country abolished flogging, so he was spared. But ladies and gentlemen, if this guy got 10 years, the next person had it much worse. This is Timothy Jackson, and he was sentenced to spend his whole life in prison after stealing a jacket. Now, of course, stealing is never okay, but how would you feel if I told you that he actually put down the jacket and fled the scene without it as soon as he noticed a security guard was pursuing him? However, because he did many, many of these small crimes in his life, it all combined and the court eventually handed him a bitter fate of a life sentence. And finally, back to our first case. Why was this guy sentenced to 384,912 years in prison? Well, Gabriel March Granados was only 22 years old when he was charged with fraud by the Spanish judiciary. His crime? Failing to deliver letters. 42,768 of them, to be exact. He was said to have only opened the letters to steal any valuables inside of them. And for each of the letters he failed to deliver, he was given nine years in jail, which officially equaled to 384,912 years in prison. Fortunately, he got lucky because later on the judge settled on giving this man just over 14 years instead. Now that is a wow. From failing to deliver mail, inaccurate predictions, blogging, to stealing a piece of clothing. It blows my mind how making a wrong move in the wrong place, in the wrong time, can literally take away the rest of someone's life in a snap. But on a more serious note, as I hear about these crazy stories, I cannot help but think about the far worse, far more evil criminals out there. Serial killers, terrorists, many bad people who may even be free. It's them who deserve way harsher punishments. The way the law works in different countries really is an interesting subject, so you can expect Project Nightfall to come more of these stories in the future.